all right so in this video we're going to see how to log in using cookies so i have my normal browser opened up here and i'm logged in in my linkedin account here i have this extension installed named edit this cookie i'll just google this thing up for you edit this cookie extension you can install this extension in chrome and firefox as well what this extension does is it allows you to copy the cookies which your browser saves when you log in into any account so i have logged in into linkedin.com my account and then i click on this extension and then i click on this button export when i click here it says cookies copy to clipboard i come back here and save my cookies in this variable named cookie i paste and you can see this is what cookies look like so before executing this command i have to execute before command which says false is equal to false and true is equal to true i'll explain what it means so I press shift enter and it has been executed now i actually press shift enter on this cell and this executes very well now what is the use of the first command that i ran false is equal to false and true is equal to true here what happens is the extension which we are using here it actually sends false in small f and true in small t but python doesn't understand false and true with small f and t it understands with capital f and t so we are telling python that small false means capital false and small true means capital true first and then we run this thing then python doesn't complain all right now we run the actual command to log in as mentioned here linkedin.login cookies is equal to the cookie now this cookie variable is the one which we initialized before i'll press shift enter to execute this command and now we'll check here so it has opened up linkedin.com it is setting cookies on the back end and now we should be logged in all right we can see that this our account has been logged in without actually entering a username and password using cookies so this is a very convenient way to log in because it doesn't have any captchas etc so all the automation can happen without any issue all right in the next video we are going to see how to automate searching on linkedin thanks for watching